from the James A. Garfield National Historic Site in Mentor, Ohio. I'm Justin Kopsack. Today we're going to learn about North, South, and West regions of the United States in the early 1800s. The borders of the United States stretched from the Atlantic Ocean to the Mississippi River, and Ohio was considered part of the West during this time. The North was full of large cities, small cities and towns. It had rocky, thin soil, trade centers, manufacturing centers, shipbuilding and logging, factories, ironworks, textile mills, and cottage industries. The South, by contrast, was rural with few large cities and towns. It had coastal marshes, a plantation economy, tobacco, cotton, and sugar were its major cash crops and had a long growing season. The West, which included Ohio, was rural but had growing cities and towns. There was inexpensive farmland in Ohio and good rich soil for farming. Ohio was a producer of raw materials for northern and British factories, including materials such as timber and minerals. From the James A. Garfield National Historic Site in Mentor, Ohio, I'm Justin Kopsack. Thank you for watching.